I'm Casey and I have a crush on food. And today I'm very, very excited because I'm going to show you how to make sticky and sweet baby back ribs. That's right. Today I have a crush on baby back ribs. Now, I'm not going to pretend that ribs are healthy. They are delicious, but they're definitely a sometimes food. But it's football season and you might be inviting some people over to watch a big game that's important to you. And that's a perfect time to put a few racks of baby back ribs on the grill and share them. So have a few and enjoy them. Baby back ribs are great because they're kind of hard to mess up. They always taste good and they're pretty much always tender. So let's start. The exciting thing about this is that you get to make a mop, which is kind of like sauce. And today I'm just going to make one rack of baby back ribs because my cameraman has to eat all of those ribs. So, you can find the full recipe though at crushonfood.com and that's for a larger quantity. So already in my bowl I have some brown sugar, some brown mustard, some tomato paste, a good amount of paprika and chili powder, some onion powder and garlic powder. And we're just going to add um, some melted butter and some molasses. That's the secret ingredient. So it makes them sticky and yummy. It's kind of fun to pour that. And then some lover style beer. Put some in there. And we're just gonna whisk this together. And we're going to um, Cook these on the grill in a foil packet. So you want to double up the foil because this is a little bit um, liquidy. All right. Mix that up. And I have my ribs right here. And I've cut the rack in half. This is one three pound rack. And so just find the middle and then, you know, with a nice sharp knife, cut in between um, two of the rib bones. And I've got two pieces of foil here. I'm take one of the rats. And this is kind of messy, so just be prepared for that. I've already seasoned the ribs with um, some salt and pepper. Just kind of poured it on there. And you're going to use um, most of the mop in the foil packets. Just reserve half a cup to a cup because um, you're going to boil it on. You're going to cook it. And then we'll put it on the ribs at the very end. So that's kind of how you do it. Just kind of wrap it up. I'm going to finish wrapping this one up and wrap the other one up and then we'll take them outside and put them on the grill. So I have my grill already hot to a moderate heat, like 375, but if it gets too hot while you're um, waiting, you can just open the lid and let the hot air come out. So it's not that big of a deal. The great thing about grilling is that it's very hands-on and you can see um, how your food is cooking and you can adjust the temperature and it responds immediately and That's one of the reasons why I love to grill. So you're just going to put your foil packets Here you're not going to be turning the um, meat over So you don't have to worry about that Just find a, a good spot and really, you don't have to do much to them. They're going to cook for about 40 or 45 minutes. Um, you do want to check on them, though, because the molasses and the brown sugar, um, if they get too hot, they will burn. So we don't want them to be too hot. So try to keep the grill 350 to 375 um, and check on them every 5 or 10 minutes. I like to sit in my grilling chair and, you know, watch my meat cook. But whatever works for you. All right, I'm going to close this grill up and we're going to let them cook. So when you have about 15 or 20 minutes left on uh, cooking time, you can go ahead and start heating up the rest of the mop. 
So I have a burner here on my grill, but if you don't, you can heat it up inside. Um, so you just want it to kind of simmer for about 15 or 20 minutes, and it'll get kind of, it'll thicken up. So you can, um, at the end, we're going to take the ribs out of the foil, and we'll brush it with some of the rest of the mop, and um, go get that kind of, uh, you know, grilled outside, because cooking them in the foil is almost like um, uh, steaming them a little bit, so they don't have that grilled look yet. Um, and just, you know, like I said, check on your ribs. You can move them around. Um, if you know your grill really well, you'll know where the hot spots are. And so you can try to avoid those. Um, but they're almost done and they smell great already. All right, so it's the end of the, the grilling. And we're going to take the racks out of the foil and let them grill for about five minutes. My sauce has been simmering and it's gotten a little bit thicker. I already took one rack out of the foil. I got my other one here. Make sure you have a nice deep pan because when you unwrap it, all that sauce that was in there is gonna go everywhere. And it's gonna be a little bit hot, so just be careful. It's look great. So putting them on the grill just gives them that nice grilled um, look and a little bit of the, more of the grilled flavor. So, if you don't have a, a silicone brush, it's a great tool to use in the kitchen and for the grill. So just kind of rub it, some of the sauce, and whatever's left you can serve um, with the ribs for all those meat lovers that you know that love extra sauce. So I'm going to let these um, grill for about five minutes and then it'll be rib time. It's rib time now. So um, for all of you experienced rib grillers out there, you don't need to necessarily know this, but in case it's not something you normally do, um, cutting up the ribs, just find a spot in between the rib bone, about halfway down each rib bone, and that's how you're going to cut these up. And these aren't the fall off the bone kind of ribs. These I like mine real meaty, where the meat stays on the bone. Um, so just so you know that, just cut them up and the meat eaters, the rib lovers will come running. Enjoy your sweet and sticky baby back ribs.